In this video, I'm going to give you 20 reasons to upgrade to Cubase Pro. Whether you're using Cubase Artist, Cubase Elements, or Cubase LE and Cubase AI, Cubase Pro has a vast amount of features that will allow you to create amazing music faster and easier. So if you're wondering if you should upgrade, this video might help you decide. Let's start. Reason number one, when it comes to crafting your music, the mix can really make or break your sound. Cubase Pro comes with a massive amount of professional-grade plugins from Dynamics processors like the Multiband Compressor and the Multiband Envelope Shaper to powerful distortion and saturation plugins, fully featured EQs like Frequency 2 and incredible spatial effects like the Multitap Delay and the Mod Machine. From mixing to advanced sound design, with Cubase Pro you're fully covered. Reason number two, Spectral Comparison EQ. Ever wonder why your mixes sound muddy, lack focus and clarity? One reason might be the clashing of frequencies from different instruments or masking of frequencies. With a spectral comparison EQ, Cubase Pro takes away the guesswork and allows you to see possible problems inside your mix and correct them easily without opening a separate plugin. Reason number three, fully fledged mixing console with control room. With Cubase Pro, you get all the benefits of the control room section of a real large-scale analog console with none of the cabling and complex routing. With control room, you can create cues for musicians, A-B referencing when mixing, momentarily turn your mix to mono, or even set up a talkback mic to communicate with your performers. And if you need built-in LUFS metering, it's all in there. Reason number four, Advanced Channel Strip. If you come from Cubase Elements, LE or AI, you will find the Advanced Channel Strip of Cubase Pro a huge help for crafting a big, clean mix. Or even a mix with loads of character. The Advanced Channel Strip has all the tools you need to get your mix up and running with gate, different types of compression, transient shaping, de saturation and tape emulation, as well as different limiters for every channel without the need to load a single plugin. It's all there. All you need to do is click and get the sound. And with the included presets, you can get started straight away. You can find the channel strip in the mix console. As you can see, it's right here. So it feels like I'm working on a large scale console with all the analog processing that I might need. But you can also find it if you open the channel settings. It depends on how you want to work. If you want to focus on a channel, it's really nice to open the channel settings, but it's always good to have it available right there so you can see what's going on with your tracks at a glance. Now, let me give you a quick example of how this track sounds with and without the channel strip so that you can get an idea of what kind of power it gives you when you're mixing. First, let's listen without it. Have a listen to the vocals, the drums, the bass, the guitars, how they sound. They're a little bit uneven. It sounds pretty much like a demo. So you can see how much more fuller, more polished and more mix ready my track sounds when I activate the channel strip on all tracks at once. Reason number five, mix console snapshots. If you ever wanted to compare different mix versions of the same track without going into the hassle of saving and loading several projects, then you can say goodbye to this problem with Cubase Pro. You can easily save mixing snapshots, compare and decide what sounds best for you. And if you're doing client work, you can be rest assured that mix revisions are going to be painless. Reason number six, VCA faders. VCA faders were originally found on hardware mixing desks. They allowed the user to control the volume levels of several mixer channels with only one fader. In Cubase, the VCA fader function is based on the same concept and allows you to mix groups of channels very easily, a feature that pros have been relying on for the mixes since the analog days. Reason number seven, direct offline processing. Have you ever wanted to apply a reverse reverb on a vocal or add complex series of effects to create a cinematic hit for sound design? Well, Cubase Pro allows you to do this easily with direct offline processing. Not only you can use this feature to save resources or when you do sound design, but if you ever change your mind, Cubase Pro allows you to go back and remove any processing or even edit the plugin settings you use 
even after you closed the project and came back to it after months. Let me give you a very quick example so that you can see how powerful the direct offline processing is. Let's say I have this clap right here. And let's say I want to reverse it. I want to apply some reverb, maybe some modulation effects. Let me show you how it works. I hit F7 for direct processing. And there we go. Now I have a dialogue here. Here I can even save effect chains so I can go back and reapply the same processing if I do this very frequently. So let's say I want to process this clap. I go process and then maybe at first I want to reverse it. There we go. Now it's reversed. And then maybe I want to add a reverb on top of this. Maybe a revelation from Cubase. So as you can see, not only this applied the reverb instantly to the audio, it doesn't take any CPU and I can even change the settings. Check it out. And the waveform updates straight away. You can even add a tail if you want to. So let's say I want to change the shape of the reverb. There we go. And now maybe I want to add a phaser on top of this. There we go. Now I have a phaser right there. And then in the end, I want to also reverse this audio again. And there we go. So now let's see how this sounds. And this doesn't take any resources. This is all bound to audio. Now let's say that I come back to this project later on. I can still click on this event, hit F7, and I can see everything that I've done. And I can even change the settings of my plugins after the fact, like this. Or even remove a process altogether. Incredibly powerful. Reason number eight, audio alignment. Tight harmonies and tight backing vocals are a staple of modern music. Audio alignment allows you to do just that. With just one click, no more sloppy vocals. Reason number nine, group editing. If you ever need to edit multi-track drum recordings or a multi mic piano and you want to keep the relationships between the microphones and the phase intact, then the group editing function in Cubase Pro is for you. You can use slicing or audio warp to time correct drums or just use this function for speedy editing that would otherwise take a long time to achieve. Reason number 10, logical editor. The logical editor is a gem inside Cubase Pro. It allows you to perform actions in bulk and saves you loads of time in the process. Let me give you a very quick example on how the project logical editor can help you organize your project very, very easily. For example, I have this project right here and as you can see, all my channels are gray. What if I wanted to color code my channels very easily? Watch how I can turn all the drum related channels red with one click. There we go. What if I want to color code my bass channels blue? That's it, one click. Maybe my guitar's green, there we go. And maybe I want to have all my vocals orange. Done. So the Project Logical Editor offers a lot of power to be discovered. Reason 11, import tracks from project. Imagine that you have created the perfect vocal chain or that you want to use the same drum part from a project you worked on two months ago. Import tracks from projects allows you to import any tracks from any Cubase project, including the routing and the effects used. Not only this saves you time, but your secret recipes can be used again and again for your productions without complex workarounds and manual copying of settings. For example, here I have a track that I'm working on and maybe I want to reuse some drums or maybe some sounds from a previous track that I've worked months ago. Here's where the import tracks from projects can come really handy. As you can see here, I'm importing tracks from a previous project and I can say I want to take the drums, for example because I want to reuse them. Once I do this, I can click OK. And as you can see straight away, I have all my drums imported into my new project with all the processing and everything. This feature alone can save you loads of time from saving presets, recalling settings, importing audio files, recalling virtual instruments. It's really, really fast. Reason number 12, global tracks. If you're writing music for media, films or adverts, or if you're producing music with loads of time signatures and tempo settings, the global tracks in Cubase Pro allow you to always have an overview of what matters inside the key editor. You can you can always check when you have time signature changes or when you need to hit a certain hit point in that film or when you have a tempo change coming up. Reason 13, tempo detection panel. With Cubase Pro, you can take an audio event and have the tempo detection tell you what the tempo of that audio is, even if it's constantly changing. 
Cubase will even create a tempo track automatically for you. So here I have a completely freely played piano. So as you can hear, the tempo fluctuates, the metronome is not even near to where it should be. So let's try and use the tempo detection to find the tempo of this track. So I go tempo detection and I hit analyze. And as you can see, Cubase already gives me the correct tempo track. Let's listen to it. And now I can very easily set the definition from tempo and then just flatten my tempo track to the tempo that I want. So just like that, I can change the tempo of any audio event or even try and follow the tempo track of a specific audio event like a live performance, for example. Reason 14, Advanced Audio Export. With Cubase Pro and the Advanced Audio Export job cues, you can create perfect stems with one click without worrying if you're going to make any mistakes. You can export multi-tracks with or without effects with different routing options and different formats, all with a single click. Reason 15, Chord Assistant Proximity Mode. If you're a producer and you want to explore different chord progressions or harmonic structures, the Chord Assistant can help you break away from the mental muscle memory and come up with music material you might have not ventured otherwise. Reason 16, Expression Maps. If you're working with virtual instruments or libraries that contain a lot of key switches and articulations, then Cubase Pro's Expression Maps will allow you to take a more musical clean and fast approach when you're arranging. Instead of changing your key switches with a random note, give your violins the direction to play staccato or mercato. Makes more sense, doesn't it? Let's have a listen to this violins part that I have right here. I'm using the expression maps and that's why I have these articulation directions right here. And as you can see, I'm starting with legato, I'm moving on to staccato, and then I'm moving back to legato, tremolo, and then sustained vibrato. Let's have a listen. So this I would normally have to do using key switches. That takes a lot of time. I have to learn all the key switches for every instrument. And also it makes my MIDI parts look a little bit dirtier. Not the case with expression maps. If I change my mind and I don't want to have the violins play a sustained vibrato here, I can very easily go and say, I just want to have trills here. And now if we listen back. It's as easy as that. And it also makes musical sense. You don't have to worry about key switches anymore. You can focus on the actual musical articulations that you want to use for each part. Reason 17, Time Warp. The Time Warp tool allows you to adjust musical positions of events or parts to time positions. Incredibly useful for film composers as it allows you to build tempo maps super easily. With Time Warp, you can hit your hit points with accuracy every single time. Let me give you a very quick example to show you how easily you can manipulate your tempo to match your events in a film, for example. Let's say I have this hit point right here, there's this scene and I want to hit it exactly at the beginning of my bar. Let's say we want to have my bar 28 to be exactly where this scene starts, on this cut. So all I need to do is grab my time warp tool and as you can see, I can go like this and it's done. I can immediately snap all my events so easily. Or let's say that I want to have my fight scene start exactly on bar 31. I can take my time warp tool and just drag it to my marker right here. And now we're exactly in sync. How cool is that? Reason 18, powerful collection of virtual instruments. Cubase Pro comes with Retrolog, a virtual analog synthesizer with tons of character and vibe and a fully featured arpeggiator. Pad Shop, which allows you to create ethereal sounds, pads, but also grungy textures and powerful drones, and two incredible instruments for Hylian Sonic SE, Flux and Trip. Let me give you a very quick example of how these amazing instruments sound like. First, Flux. Then trip. Retrolog. And 
Brian Patchop. Reason 19. Audio Warp Quantize. If you come from Cubase Elements, Cubase LE or Cubase AI, you will find massive improvements in Cubase Pro when it comes to time manipulation for your audio material. With Time Warp, you can stretch, time correct or even completely change the groove of your audio, be it loops, vocals or effects. And reason number 20, Vari Audio. If you come from Cubase Elements, LE or AI, Vari Audio will probably be a reason enough to upgrade to Pro. Vari Audio 3 allows you to tune monophonic instruments like vocals with absolute precision. From natural pitch correction to hard tune effects all the way to vocal mangling, you won't need anything else to make sure your vocals are always perfect. So there you go, these are 20 reasons to upgrade to Cubase Pro. I hope you found this video useful and you have a great time with Cubase. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.